fam. This is Miss V, and welcome to my show, Half Naked Conversations, where the vibe is always free. A space you hack your reality, a place you can be who you really want to be. Half Naked, baby. Half Naked Conversations. With Miss V and friends. Stay tuned! Wide away. But what we're trying to get our audience, what I'm trying to get you to understand is that your health is important. And what better way to express that than to, to be in this kind of environment? Mm-hmm. To be sweating, to you know, be in a health spot. So that's where we're at. That's the whole gist of this con- this uh, show. That we have great conversations, we sweat, and we always have this elephant in the room mm-hmm. that is your health is important. So now we're going to go to one of my favorite people on the planet, Jen <laughs> Throat. <laughs> and I'm so glad you joined my inaugural show. This has been this baby I've been trying to birth for years. I yeah. finally birthed it. And it's a special time for me because, you know, I recently lost my mother over the yes. holidays. So this has been such a saving grace for me because it's given me something to focus on other than, you know, the loss. And I don't believe in, I truly do not believe that, you know, I lost my mother. But I did suffer. I didn't lose her. Let me put it like this. I did not lose my mother. She's still with me, but I did have a loss. <laughs> so this has helped. So, Jan, thank you. Thank you for coming. Now, what do you think about being in this environment sweating? Well, I figured once you sweat with someone, you gotta know them. I mean, you know, you're not you're not gonna be a stranger if you've carried on a conversation. In fact, I feel like we just developed a friendship and we've been in here for less than five minutes together. You had to hear all about the Egyptian cooking that you do and your artwork and your aspiring desire to be a, um, a, an author and an illustrator and business entrepreneurs and cooks. And So I'm thrilled because I do my best when I'm surrounded by artists and good food. So, <laughs> and let me tell you something. We got it all. So we got it all right here. This is standard Jan Throat. I said, Jan, tell me about yourself. And she started doing young people. <laughs> Today's our own podcast. This woman is a published, award winning author. She has her own nonprofit, Intervisions, that helps so many other people and so many other nonprofits. She's a businesswoman. She's a mother. She's a, a wonderful, devoted community activist and friend. And I call her family. And she just, your latest book is Healing the Space Between Us, and it's about um, connecting across racial and economic divisions. And your latest project, Jen? Oh my gosh, well, I just finished uh, walking the Underground Railroad, mm-hmm. and... Um, How many miles was that? Well, it was, for me, it was a little bit longer because I had uh, to walk to a final destination, pick up a bike, then take my bike back to where my car was. And so I'd have to do that each day. So it's supposed to be like 260, I think, but it was kind of almost double that because I had to go back and forth. Um, but and then, for those that people don't know what the Underground Railroad is, it's the route that what? that slaves took when they wanted to run to the north and they wanted to be free of that horrible institution. That's yeah. the, the, the path they took, the route they yeah. took. And you walked that whole route. Well, I figure, you know, we keep talking about, um, you know, Black Lives Matter, but we can't just talk that talk. We gotta walk the walk. And so I really believe that walking with someone is a way to get on the same page, the same footing. You know, you figure you're walking in the same direction towards the same destination. And if you're sharing your stories, you're seeing things from the same vantage point while you're you're talking and you get into the same rhythm and eventually i think what i've experienced from walking with people that way is that um you end up becoming more understanding of each other and um, really desiring something in common and so that's i want to be able to teach what um the stories of the Underground Railroad, and we're making a, um, an app so that if you wanted to follow the Underground Railroad, you'd download our app, and when you'd get to a place of historical significance, it would ping, mm. and then uh, wonderful people from around Cleveland are the narrators with uh, musicians that are playing music in the background, and it's um, a way of having a historical um, lesson while you're walking. 
And so I'm not the only one here. Mm -hmm. See, I have these crazy, I, this was a crazy, I, I see what you're say. That's a crazy identity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, interview like people that are sweating in the sun, right? <laughs> but guess what? I'm not the only one with these ideas, these huge ideas that just, because they're just crazy enough to work there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's how I see Jen. Jen is a big thinker, and she does things so out the box that I know people are like, Jen, what so are you doing So out of the now? box that I'm willing to sit in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't they say, Jen, what are you doing with now? With strangers. <laughs> sweating. <laughs> sweating. Thank you for coming. At my worst. Okay. Hey fam, this is Miss V, and this is my philosophy. I believe you create your reality, so be mindful of the world. Speak. Hey fam, this is Miss B. I believe you create what you speak. Half naked, baby. Half naked conversation.